So we're still in the in the bathroom. Um, I'm just going to give you a, a view of what it looks like actually inside the the cubicle. Um, the door is slightly narrow. It's about 75 centimeters wide. And inside the cubicle, you can see that there are no grab rails, as I as I said. It's just me trying to measure the width of the door. Um, so again, limited uh, circulation space in, inside there, um, which uh, isn't ideal for. Uh, a wheelchair user, for example. Yeah, so I was just measuring that. That's, as I said, just over 70, 70 centimeters. So now I'm going to head back. Let's have a look to see what we have in, in here. Oh, okay, so this is an auditorium. Um, it's a bit dark in there, sorry about that. A wheelchair user could potentially sit towards the back where the chairs were although there's no accessible route to the front. So we're now going to head towards the lifts to take us to the first and the, the second floors. Uh, the lift doors are pretty narrow, although you notice that there's some braille um, on the, the lift button, which is a, a nice touch. So the, the door width is uh, it's about 65 centimetres, so very narrow for a, a wheelchair user. Again, nice spray all there, as you can see. There's an, a, a nice touch. The circulation space is also pretty limited within, within the lift. So it would be problematic for a wheelchair user to enter the lift um, and yeah, also to be able to take it to, to the other floor. So we're now on the first floor. See, so there's some really nice paintings and exhibits around. Again, some nice circulation space. It's um, it's wide, um, plenty of room for uh, wheelchair user to to navigate uh, to navigate around. To so the the biggest issues with uh, with the museum in terms of accessibility are are the bathrooms. Um, yeah, they're not accessible at all. It's really nice paintings here, actually, really really beautiful paintings. So again. Nice circulation space, um, good light as well. It's just the way the staircase is just right. So we're now going to take the lift up to the second floor. Again, you can observe the, the braille on the lift buttons, very nice touch. I haven't seen this in many museums in, in India to be fair, so it was a nice surprise to, to see it in, uh, in go. So here we are, onto the second floor. Just take a wee peek outside. So unfortunately there's a ledge there. Um, it's just trying to get a good angle off that. Um, so it would be very difficult for a wheelchair user to be able to get to that outside bit, although the exhibits themselves are, are, are inside. Again, observe the nice circulation space, um, nice, wide and spacious. There's another ledge there, it's problematic for a wheelchair user. This, this is one of the few spaces actually inside the, the museum that, uh, that isn't accessible. The doors, um, the passageway is very narrow here. It's, um, it's just 68 centimeters wide. It's trying to, to measure that. Fortunately, I can't give you details of uh, what all these exhibits are. 
Uh, so there we have another bathroom, um, again problematic because of the bedroom. So I'm just going to head down the stairs now. Um, you've, you've basically seen, um, you've seen most of the, of, of the museum. So in, uh, yeah, in conclusion, the Museum of Gowen is pretty uh, wheelchair accessible. Um, it would be particularly fine if, uh, if a wheelchair user was there with an the, the assistant or a friend. Um, I was also very impressed by the, uh, the rail features in the, in the lifts. Um, unfortunately, um, that was the only braille that I that I observed. Um, a further area of improvement would be to have some um, braille information regarding the, the exhibits as well. But nonetheless, it's a good start. So yeah, all in all, I would recommend the, the Museum of Costa as a partly wheelchair accessible um, venue um, and partly accessible for people with visual impairments. Give it a go if you if you have a chance. Great, thanks a lot and stay tuned until the next time.